that one. Wow. This feels like a decent one. All right, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a really good one. Oh, no. He's doing weird things. All right, boys and girls. Welcome to the Frostbite channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Justin Jankin. Frostbite's favorite, but only ginger. But like I always say, ooh, a win by default is still a win. So I'm originally born and raised in Winnipeg, Manitoba, but I've since moved. Ooh. <laughs> but I've since moved to Baker Lake, Nunavut, where I've been living for the last year and a half. I'm a little bit of a romantic. I like long solo snowmobile trips off the beaten path. And I also like Big Mama Lake Trout, which I think we might be hooked up to one right now. Currently about three hours away from all forms of civilization. In the heart of caribou and grizzly bear territory. Oh no, I'm surrounded. Hey bro, while you're over there, punch me a couple. Punch me a couple holes, bro. What is going on with this fish? This fish appears to be stuck at the bottom of the ice, which is in fact six feet thick. So it's kind of hard to do anything about it. We're fishing the outflow of a big gigantic lake that flows into a river, which eventually flows into Baker Lake, which is home of the town that I currently live in. So we're fishing a super high current area in very shallow water. It's about 13 feet deep here and this lake trout is having a really tough time getting up this hole. Ay ay ay, this is stressful. I haven't had a look at this fish yet, so I don't know quite how big it is. Okay, I can see the jig. And we just gotta turn this guy's head up the hole. I don't know if you can see through the GoPro here how thick that ice is. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, big bubbles. Oh, big bubbles. Oh my goodness, this is a good fish. Holy smokes, he's not done yet. Now it's just boiling up some water to make a nice little gourmet cup of top ramen. I'm gonna have to turn that down. Oh no, this is really challenging. What the F is going on? Okay, well, there goes that idea. That's okay, we've got bigger priorities. Okay, let's get this boy up this hole so I can give you a look at him. This is so stressful. I'm gonna give him some slack so he can reposition himself. Oh, that's big. Oh my goodness. I just got a little hint of his snout. He's hooked directly in the tip of the nose. Okay, pull some line, come on. Okay. I'm not really sure what to do here. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! That's big! <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Oh! Okay, here we go. Oh, check this out! Oh, look at this monster! Oh my goodness! Look at this thing! <laughs> Look at this lake trout! Do you believe it? <laughs> wow! I'm shaking. I'm absolutely shaking. Let's get this guy back for a little drink. All right, I got the bump board. Okay. <sighs> 42. 42 inches. Okay, one last look at this big beast. Look at how fat that is. All right, let's get him back. Oh, all right, big girl. You're free to go. Oh, she's spunky still. Woo! <laughs> she's gone. Wow, I don't know what to say. That's just incredible. 
That is by far my biggest lake trout through the ice. And definitely up there for one of my heaviest lake trout for sure. Unreal. Unreal. It's incredible. We're fishing in 13 feet of water in extremely heavy current. Ice is like six feet thick. So there's seven feet of water below the ice. That feels so unbelievably good. We've grinded it out for the last seven and a half months on the ice, fishing at least once or twice a week, virtually every free moment we had from work. And to hook up with a true giant like that is just so rewarding. I'll give you a quick little glimpse of what we're dealing with out here. So as you can see, we are extremely close to the open water here. You can see a little eddy forming there. Ice is kind of flowing in a circle and we are just downstream from that. And these lake trout are just feeding in the shallows in the current. Now we're three hours and we'll be right away from all forms of civilization. So we are out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And this is just my absolute favorite place to be. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. So far from cell service, just alone in the elements. So the rod that handled that fish's business, frostbite slugger, 46 inch extra heavy. I don't even know what to say. I'm getting back down there and see if we can beat that fish. I don't even know what to say. This shack is an effing disaster. I was trying to make Mr. Noodles. I don't know exactly what happened to that. I think I may have booted the Buddy Flex heater and knocked it over. Maybe we'll get that started again because I have not eaten all day. So that lake trout wasn't like the longest lake trout I've ever seen. Don't get me wrong, 42 is super long, but the thing that got me so fired up about that is the girth. Like that thing was just big all around. Oh my goodness, I'm still buzzing. I don't even know what else to talk about. What do we talk about after that? What do we what do? we Do Do you want to see my gourmet cooking? So if you guys are at all fans of gingers or Big Mama Lake Trout, check out my YouTube channel, subscribe. I also like fishing with ridiculous items like tampons, teaspoons, and GoPro camera lures. Justin Jenkins and Assorted Meats on YouTube. Oh, it appears as though our water is ready. That was the like fourth try. But we done did it. Not sure if I'm just sticking to bottom or if something's picking it up, but that last one bit very similar. I just plopped it on the bottom and then reeled up a touch and there was just so much weight. This is so weird fishing, this crazy current in shallow water. That's not at all what you'd expect to be fishing for lake trout. Now I usually have a third camera on the fish finder just to kind of show what I'm seeing, but we're in such shallow water and such heavy current that it is pointless. I can barely even see my tube jig as is I have like an ounce and a half tube jig head on and it is still just getting wrecked by the current i drilled another hole like 25 yards out more into the current the ice was like five feet thinner the current was like 1000 times faster and the water in the hole was literally bubbling from all the current ripping through this water is literally bubbling i have no idea what would cause that So scary. Look at that. What are we doing out here? The water was twice as deep as well, so it was just a gong show. So I fished that for about 14 seconds and then I moved back over to this hole where I caught that nice one that you seen in the intro there. I'm thinking that clip will be the intro. I just got hit. That was really strange. What? What is going on? That was really strange just got semi heavy for about two to three seconds wow I didn't even know if I had a fish it's literally like a 16 inch lake trout okay right on and he got the hook in his mouth see how close I have to hold it to the camera to make it look big Nice one. Let's get him back. Bye. Dinkasaurus Rex. I honestly think this Bondi may weigh more than that fish. Now I'm going to think every little bump I feel is a bite. Because I had no idea I was hooked up on that fish. Got one. 
The fish kind of came out of nowhere. Okay, yeah, this may be a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Wow. Big head shakes, holy smokes. Look at those head shakes. Ooh, that's scary. Man, this slugger just, it's literally the perfect Big Mama Lake Trout Rod. Literally perfect. Ooh, big bubbles. Holy smokes are those big bubbles. This fish has a lot of weight, my goodness. Oh, yep, 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 come on up. Oh, look at those bubbles. Oh, that's big. Another huge one. Oh, he's right at the bottom of the hole. Oh, I'm trying to horse him up the hole because I don't want to encounter the same situation as last time, but that is not the play. That is so not the play. It's so hard to tell how big it is six feet down. This is big, <laughs> oh, this is big. Come on, come on, get up. Oh yeah, we got it, we got it. Oh my God, this one's so big. Oh, maybe not as big, but it is big. Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh, check this beauty out. Oh, what a giant. Oh my God, just such a perfect, perfect fish. What a specimen. Just look at the contrast between the fins and the body on that fish. Oh, let's get her back. I don't need a measurement. Oh, see a big girl. Thanks for coming out. Oh, what a day. Man, unbelievable. <laughs> oh, I love Nunavut. Okay, let's get right back down. This is the dream. This is literally the dream. And once again, 46. Extra heavy slugger. Just the perfect lake trout rod. This feels like another really good one. Big head shakes. Holy smokes. Man, this feels nice. <laughs> oh, it's got some weight. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is unbelievable. Look at the bend in that rod. I think this fish is probably fighting the best out of all of them yet. Not sure if that means it's going to be the biggest, but he's spunky, that is for sure. Big bubbles, holy smokes. That never gets old. Haven't had a look at them yet. Oof. I'm thinking this one's gonna be big. 
I mean, I, I'm, I know this one is going to be big, but like extra big. Oh, I just got a glimpse of them. So hard to tell. It's so hard to tell. My shoulder is getting sore. I'm going to be yoked after this. Now for the fun part, getting his head up the hole. He's up the hole. Not gigantic, but a really, really nice one. Really, really nice one. All right, check this beauty out. Just another stud. Unbelievable. Incredible. I'm at a loss for words. Oh, let's get her back. <laughs> okay, that's about all I can handle. My shoulder is wrecked. My heart is wrecked. But I am absolutely on cloud nine. This is truly one of those days that you dream of ice fishing. It's one of those days when every bite is big. One of those days that sticks in your memory, maybe forever. I don't know, man. It's amazing. Okay, that's going to do it. What an unbelievable day. Thanks for coming and hanging out for the day on the Frostbite channel. If you haven't already and you're a fan of Big Mama Lake Trout, make sure you check out the Slugger. Without a doubt, the best lake trout rod money can buy. I'm going to get myself packed up. I got a real long ride home ahead of me. Till next time, peace.